Greg Smith is making a lot of money from his stint as an author in his tell-all on Goldman Sachs. Apparently, he's going to be making a $1.5 million advance, John Friedman. Is that a lot of money? Are you sure about this now? I I, is that a lot of money? It's a lot of money. Is a lot of money? It's a lot of money. For, for an advance. For an advance, a lot of money. Right. And I only say it's a lot of money because, look, I know he was not the highest paid person at Goldman Sachs, but I don't know the way you know, these things work in the literary world, but if you take one and a half million bucks, how much does he have to pay any literary agent? He Probably has. 10, 15 percent. Okay, so now let's say he's at one three. He's got to pay roughly if he's a New York City resident. or yeah, He's yeah. paying 50 percent of that. He's going to have maybe $600,000 in, in his pocket Poor after guy. all this. Look, all I'm saying is, you know, by the way, you're giving up a career on Wall Street or possibly giving up a career on Wall Street for 500,000 bucks or 600,000 bucks in your pocket today. Is that a smart trade? I think he wanted to leave Wall Street and is now going on to become a writer. I don't think it's a cause and effect. You leveled some accusations at Greg Smith in your piece. You called him a fink and an opportunist. Yes. Those are strong words. Yes. I, which, I, which one do you believe in? That he's a fink or an opportunist? Opportunist. Fink, fink was more of a jokey kind of a term. Opportunist for sure, which is not a bad thing in this world. You it's, don't, not, it's not a terrible thing. You don't, you, you, I'm going to call you an opportunist. Do you like that? It. I wish I could be. I'm going to like that? I'm not important enough. I appreciate the, appreciate the plug. Thank what you. Do, so what do you mean by opportunist? I think he's taking advantage of what he knew and learned at Goldman and experience and turning it around to his advantage and making Goldman making Goldman kind of look foolish for his advantage there. Right. Now, what do you think he's going to actually be able to say in this book? That's a good question. I was just saying just now, off, off camera, I'm not so sure what, what he'll say because he can't say too much because I don't think he wants to violate his trust to his friends back there, but his publisher wanted to say a lot. They want, they want the dirt, everything. What do you think he actually knows? I mean, the man was not, uh, not to, again, dismiss him, but he was... He was kind of a mid-level exec. They have 20,000. I, I mean, Evan, he knows everything. Come I, on. I don't, I don't think he knows everything. He knows everything. a lot. He knows, uh, a lot. Uh, he knows enough. He knows no, enough no. to hurt them. By the way, uh, I'll, I'll be, I don't, I mean, I have no proof one way or the other. I'd be surprised if he knew very much. Because if he knew very much, odds are we would have seen a snapshot, at least something that he knew in that op-ed, but there was really nothing in there, was there? Why should he say anything like that? He's saving for the, for the book. Oh, so, He's getting paid big money for the okay. book. Okay, so what do you think he could say that would be that would get him a, a newspaper headline six months or nine months or a year from oh, now when the book comes Muppets, out? more Muppets, perhaps? What? Muppets? Muppets? More, more Muppets. Muppet talk. Yeah, more, more Muppet, Muppet talk. talk. What else? Things like that. How they treated the clients in detail, perhaps. How some of the, some of the bankers regarded the clients in detail, in gruesome detail. Right. But they, it, it won't have any shock value. Some will of the pomposity. It? Do you think it'll have shock value? I think I think it will sell. I think I think will, and I think it'll be a movie. I you, think it'll be you, a great movie. A movie. Oh, for sure. You 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 see Jerry Wall Maguire. Wall Street Three. Wall Street Three. You know you liked Wall. I told I you did. Wall Street Two was terrible. You were wrong. Well, it was terrible. You were wrong. It's good. By the way, I, I'm actually reflecting conventional wisdom. Most people thought it was terrible. Do you think people want to go see a movie about a mid-level VP at Goldman Sachs? Who basically is not his career is not is not going very far until so he Tom, walks I, I out and Tom writes Cruise. an op-ed. I see Tom Cruise in that role. You I, see Tom, Tom Cruise. Tom Cruise. Do you think Greg Smith um, is follically challenged like some other people I know? Do you see it's a do cheap you, shot? Do you see cheap you, shot, America? Do you see Mr. Cruise shaving his head for the role of Greg Smith? To win an Oscar, yes. You think to win an Oscar? Absolutely, yes. absolutely. So you as a as a ping pong playing. Uh, mid-level VP at Goldman Sachs. You see him riding the red carpet he's very, he's, at the he's Academy good, he's Awards. Got good, he's got good uh, you know, body coordination. Body he, he can do it. Okay. Uh, I need a final prediction. Yeah. Will Greg Smith's tell-all memoirs make it to the bestseller list? Final question, John Friedman. Yes, of course.